Hello and welcome to the 28th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to play a sound effect repeatedly so we just play it over and over and over again this tutorial seems you've done tutorial 5 if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial so let's just go ahead and open up our project okay before we open it up what we want to do is actually create an audio folder within resources I'm going to do audio and I just have a sound effect just a collide file I'm just going to paste it in there now we can open up our project now the next thing we want to do is actually drag and drop this audio folder into our resources folder here and what we want to do is select create folder reference for any folders and we don't want to select this because uh, we've already placed it in the right direction and if we select this one what will happen when we click finish it's a blue folder because it's a reference so any other audio folder we put in there will automatically get reference which is really cool so now what we want to do first of all we want to include the audio engine header we just do hash include and on a Mac if you don't know what hash include is it's alt free and uh, you want to just do simple audio engine dot h and then next we just go down here first of all we want to preload our sound effect so cocos tension then we do simple audio engine get instance preload effect and now we literally just specify where it is so it's audio forward slash collide dot wav a semicolon there and now we can simply just run this audio file so we do cocos tension obviously naturally you probably wouldn't run a sound effect in the initialize uh, initialization of a class you probably play it when something has, some event has been triggered maybe a player's died players collected some sort of object maybe it's gold some gold or some coins but, we've, but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to put it here instead of creating another you know, menu and then maybe some sort of trigger to trigger the sound effect but like I said in a real game you probably wouldn't have it like this audio forward slash collide dot wav semicolon and now if you run this we should be all good to go the volume at its max Well, actually totally forgot to actually repeatedly play a sound effect obviously this just plays the sound effect you gotta put comma and then you gotta put true or false if you want to repeatedly play it obviously we want to repeatedly play it that was my bad as you can see the sound effect is now repeatedly playing that's it for repeatedly playing a sound effect in the next tutorial I want to show you how to set sound effect volume if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. There'll be a link for that in the description. Or you can comment or just directly message us via YouTube. Also, there'll be links in the description, as we mentioned before, to all the source code needed. And finally, thanks for watching and have a nice day.